Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about one of Utah's most historical and most affordable cities to live in. We're going to give you all the dirt on Ogden, Utah. We're going to answer questions such as, is this a good place to live? Is it good for families, for singles? So stay tuned because we're going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and everything you need to know if you're looking to move to Ogden, Utah. So stay tuned, these are going to be our top 10 pros and cons of living in Ogden, Utah. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living, eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Utah and cities just like Ogden, subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Northern Utah. Yeah, we are Sloan and Kim Peterson with the Peterson Group. So we get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Northern Utah. And we absolutely love it. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is below in the description um, so we can help you make a smooth move to Northern Utah. So let's go ahead and get after it right now. All right, so let's start off with the cons of living in Ogden. So I would say con number one is weather. Yeah, that's true. So if you're someone that loves the snow, then you might, then this might not be a con for you. Um, we have a lot of people moving from the warmer climates that might not be equipped to deal with the Utah winters. In fact, bestplaces.net gives Ogden a 4.9 in the winter months versus an 8.8 in the summer months. So that's a huge yeah, difference. Yeah, very huge. So while you are close to ski resorts, which is really nice if you're a ski bum, consider day-to-day -day life in the winter. So you have to shovel your driveway, right, your sidewalks, um, driving in a blizzard, and temperatures that average below 20 degrees with an average wind, which makes them really feel even colder. We have quite a bit of a wind chill. Yeah, for sure. Winter hair typically lasts from end of November into March, sometimes April or May. So it can be around four or five months each year. Just something to consider if you are looking to make if you are looking to make the move to Ogden. And that actually leads us to the second con, which is air quality. Since Utah does sit in what is essentially a bowl, since we are surrounded by picturesque mountains, the air quality, particularly in the winter, is really bad. Yeah, it's really true. We get a lot of smog. So if you are someone that suffers from asthma or other breathing issues, you may struggle somewhat during the winter here in Ogden. And speaking of picturesque mountains, Utah has one of the highest elevations in the country and Ogden sits at about 4,300 feet above sea level. Yeah, and while this is kind of a silly con and your body does adjust fairly quickly, it's worth mentioning really because it's actually one of the biggest complaints that we hear when talking to out-of-staters, especially if you're from a climate where it was uh, not so much of an elevation as we have out here. For sure. So this is a big one if you have kids, but Ogden schools on average are rated lower than other schools across the state. Statistics gives Ogden Education a C plus rating. However, it's good to note that this is still above average on a national level, according to city statistics. So con number five is freeway access. Where Ogden does have a lot of major roads, it is a growing city and its condensed population and high density housing in some areas has made freeway access, especially on that east side, a little bit of a pain. Yeah, it can take a good 20 minutes to get to the freeway, especially like Sloan said, if you're living on that east side, when in reality, it's only five minutes away. So con number six is the nightlife here in Ogden. If you love nightlife, there isn't a huge nightlife yet in Ogden, although that is starting to change with the revamp of 25th Street downtown. Yeah, you know, however, like all change, it takes time. And so while the nightlife is building in Utah, it isn't really thriving like it might be if you are moving from another major city. Now, con number seven can be a pro or a con, and that's that Ogden is a historic city. While Ogden is one of the more affordable cities in the state because of that, it is also an older city. So a lot of the homes are in need of renovation. Yeah, so most of Ogden is older, so it is on an older grid system which could sometimes mean more power outages, slower internet, older plumbing, and things like that. So just something to keep in mind while looking at real estate in Ogden City. So con number eight is something that you'll find in any city, and that's homelessness and drugs. Like any city, there has been an increase in homelessness and drug use in Ogden. And if you go to certain pockets downtown, you can definitely see the effects of this. Yeah, there are a lot of missions and shelters in the downtown area. So you're definitely going to see panhandlers in those areas. Just something to expect when moving to downtown Ogden City. So con number 
number nine is kind of a funny one, but there is a big dog food factory on the west side of Ogden. And so in certain areas, there is an overwhelming smell of dog food. Yeah, so of course, if you're looking to live in those areas and cannot stand the smell of dog food, that's probably something that you're going to want to consider. I'm going to be transparent. It isn't every day, but some days they're cooking a certain batch of dog food that you can <laughs> smell throughout the whole city of Ogden. Yeah. Okay, so con number 10, our last con for you is crime. Again, like any city, you can expect to see higher rates of crime, especially during certain times of night in downtown areas or shopping districts. Yeah, so City Texas gives Ogden an F because the crime rates are higher than the national average. However, they also put it best when they say crime rates can vary drastically from neighborhood to neighborhood. So it's actually really important to be aware of the crime levels in the areas that you're considering moving to or spending time in. So like any big city, um, it's going to have pockets and um, you're going to have good and bad in, in certain areas. So let's hop into the pros of living in Ogden. So pro number one about living in Ogden, the economy. According to bestplaces.net, the unemployment rate in Ogden is 3.8%, the US average, six. Yeah, so in terms of economic opportunity, Ogden has both white collar and blue collar jobs and doesn't really sway one or the other. So there are more opportunities for all education levels. So pro number two of living in Ogden is the cost of living. Utah is 0.5% lower than the national average as far as cost of living goes. This includes things like groceries, gas, and dining out. In fact, City Statistics gives Ogden an A plus on the affordability score. So pro number three goes along with that cost of living and that's housing affordability. The median cost of a home in Ogden is $325,000, much less than other cities in Utah where the median for the state is around $500,000. Home appreciation for the last 10 years in Ogden is at 16% according to bestplaces.net. Yeah, that's amazing. So pro number four is going to be the scenic views that Ogden has. And I always joke with my friends that we really live in a postcard. So Ogden has some of the most beautiful mountain views that can be seen really no matter what part of the city that you're in. And it's not a joke because it's true. But pro number five to go along with that is outdoor activities. Whether you love summer, winter, Ogden is a hub of year-round activities from skiing, snowboarding, hiking, biking, and so much more. And it's made that way because of those beautiful mountains. That is for sure. So that brings us to pro number six, which is the great hospitals. So in terms of medical care, Ogden houses multiple medical facilities that are amongst the best in the state. If you live anywhere in the city, you are within five to 10 minutes um, of away, away from the best uh, medical care that there's really out there in this area. So another pro of Ogden is that it's got that small town feel with an urban vibe. With a bustling downtown area and friendly vibe, Ogden feels like a big city, but runs like a small town. It's an interesting vibe you can find nowhere else in the state. I totally agree. That's one of my favorite things about living in Ogden. So pro number eight, it's really a great place for young families. And according to city statistics, the median age of your typical Ogdenite is 31 and the average number of kids uh, per family is about three. It's true. There's tons of families here and they love it. Pro number nine, Ogden really supports local small businesses. In terms of being an entrepreneur, Ogden is a great place to call home. The city encourages and supports local businesses and residents love to shop small. Yeah, definitely. You'll find a ton of local eateries, especially in the Ogden area. So pro number 10 um, is diversity. So a lot of people talk about lack of diversity in Utah, but in terms of diversity, Ogden is one of the most diverse cities in the state. And while it's still below the national average, it definitely offers more, cult more, more culture than a lot of the surrounding cities in the area. Absolutely. We really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Picking where you'll call home is an important decision, and we would love to help you make that smooth transition to cities like Ogden, Utah. Yes, yeah, so if you're looking to purchase in Northern Utah area, we'd love to help you out. So give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. And until next time, we're keeping it real estate.